Hello singers! Today's exercise is called the straw blow. We are going to harness the amazing power of the humble drinking straw to help us get our resonance up and forward and our air really active. So let's begin by just sending our air through this straw on our exhalation. Start with a sponge breath inhalation. Imagine you've got a sponge in the bottom of the belly and we're gonna fill it with air. So sip your air in and down. Put your straw into your mouth and blow your air up and out through the straw. Can you feel how much more actively we're calling on those muscles of the low belly to really engage powerfully to send that air up and out through this more limited um, area through the straw? So now we're gonna try that again, and this time we'll make some noise. So we're going to do the same thing. Breathe in and down, straw in, into the mouth, and then air up and out through kind of an ooh sound. Ready? Terrific. Now, try that one more time, and I want you to see how loudly can you blow through this straw. I think you'll be surprised. Sip your air in and down. Straw in, engage that belly, and really let's send out as full a tone as we can. So even when I'm giving it my all, I'm pretty limited in the amount of noise that I can make. That is very advantageous for a time like right now when many of us are practicing in our homes and are really limited by our schedule or the logistics of our home life um, in how much we're able to practice at full voice. Using a straw to practice is a great way to get the full support going, really flow your air, but also keep it quiet. So if that's all you take away from today's video, then I think you can consider that a win. But if you wanna do the full exercise, it's gonna go like this. We're going to start on sol, the fifth, and then we're going to sing that through the straw, feeling that really active air pressure, and also the resonance, the kind of buzzy feeling or a little bit of sort of engagement um, activity right here around the mask. So maybe here, maybe around the nose, but somewhere, you know, if you had a Zorro mask, where that mask would be, that's generally where singers feel a little pressure or a little bit of activity or resonance. Then, once we're sustaining that note, we're gonna actually remove the straw, try to keep the resonance in that same spot, change the vowel to E, and slide down. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Let me demonstrate. So, here we are. All right, so I'm gonna sip my air down first. Right? Try that again. So watch with me. I'm going to sip the air in and down. Put the straw in and then as soon as I'm singing and I get that pitch established, I'm going to pull the straw out and move to an E. You can move down by steps or slide down. What is really essential though, is for you to pay very close attention to the moment when you move from to It is very easy to allow the resonance to either kind of close down and fall backward or to kind of dip in pitch or to dip in air supply. So what you might hear is this. heard was a little divot in the sound, right? A little loss of pitch there. That tells me that I'm kind of letting the resonance close down, but also I'm letting my air falter. And the sound that follows on is not going to be as glowy or as flowing. So let's try it one more time and see if we can just watch that moment with really, really intense powers of observation and keep the resonance active and the air flowing. Ready? Breathe down.
right, I hope that you've enjoyed this exercise. You are, of course, welcome to um, transpose it up and down through the range. And good luck with your practice.